Burr. Temperature this morning, 49 degrees Fahrenheit. It is now 50.1 Fahrenheit. It is starting to get cold out, folks. Fall is in the air. It ain't here yet, but it's coming. And that means winter is coming. So we need to get going. I'm up early today, uh, woke up about 4 a.m., had to let her little miniature Dotson out. She's getting really old. She's a little over 20 years old now, and she wakes up every day at 4 a.m. Usually I go back to sleep, but today just too much on my mind. So I got up, uh, edited a video for you guys, uh, got that up, and then uh, I'm out here now. Um, and we're going uh, to be rocking and rolling with welding today. I'm going to continue doing the grow towers. I'm hoping I can finish the grow tower bases today not the sheet metal just get the cross members put in so the frames are done and then uh, hopefully get all of the the fish tanks uh, we have two more fish tanks to build uh, decks done the frames done and then uh, we're also going to start going up start making some of the grow decks and everything uh, so hopefully we can get more than one deck on and actually start seeing these things take shape we have lots of filing though to do because um, of that mistake i made uh, so it, it may not be as uh, productive as I hope or as, uh, may not get the results I want, but we'll see. So uh, I'm going to go get my welding shirt jacket on, actually. That jacket is perfect for right now. Uh, it's nice and heavy and it's warm. Oh, it's nice. I'm going to go put that on. And we're going to get out there, get the tunes cranked up, and get to work. I need to create a coat rack here, but don't tell Safety Sally. <laughs> it works really well. Uh, so... This is a nice, oh, let me get that out of the way. Nice welding jacket here. And it's great for days just like this, uh, where I don't, I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> Mrs. Martian is still in bed and I'm out here, so I'm whispering. And she can't hear me worth a darn. I'm gonna crank up the music. Actually, you know what? Uh, so I've been listening to a, a sci-fi book series. Uh, I like hard sci-fi and uh, it's called Expeditionary Force. And uh, they just released book 10, and it is a clever, witty, uh, entertaining uh, book, and I just downloaded it this morning. So I think instead of music, I'm actually gonna put my earbuds in and uh, listen to that book today. You know, another thing I noticed with uh, the earbuds, something I really like, is that when you're out here and you're working with metal, I don't like wearing the earmuffs and the basic ear pro all the time I, I just it's annoying um, so having those earbuds which have noise canceling in them they're not official ear protection so I, I'm not trying to pretend or tell anyone that that is a great replacement but you know what it does kind of work pretty well uh, and it's nice if you're going in between like what I found yesterday when I was working is there is a the little things you do that are like grind for a little bit right you don't I don't like taking off my helmet, putting on my ear pro, or wearing ear pro under the helmet. Uh, it's just annoying, so I just do it. And uh, my ears were getting pretty sensitive to that. And so I do safety sallies, right? You gotta protect your ears. I already have tinnitus, um, so I don't want it to get worse. And uh, so I think having those earbuds in today would be a good thing, and I get to listen to a book, so that's nice. <laughs> but I do need, to all the young kids out there, don't do what I did in my life, Definitely get some good hearing protection. And for everybody out there who's a pro, if you've got a good set of hearing protection that you like to wear underneath your welding hood, uh, why don't you put a link down below? Um, we'll, you know, uh, let everyone know what you guys do. But I'm gonna get started here. Uh, today we're gonna be uh, getting everything up on the bench and putting cross members in. Let's go.
Well, it's obviously the next day. I was able to get uh, quite a bit done yesterday. I got the fish tank frames uh, for towers two and three completed. And I almost had the grow bed frame. This frame right here um, is a single grow bed. This particular base will not have a fish tank on it. That's one of the configurations we can have. And as you can see, I just got done what we call the corn tower or hemp tower for those that want to grow industrial hemp. Uh, this tower is built, is made for this purpose. If you didn't know, if you haven't watched all my videos, these are actually aquaponic slash aeroponic towers, uh, which we're really excited to get put together. I just wanted to take a few moments, some notes so far. Again, reminder to everyone, if you're just brand new, uh, we're trying to make sustainable food and energy systems. We're uh, focusing on building what we call LifePod 2, which is enabled by our um, system design that we've done. But out of that, we've chosen to down select to two products that are part of that design uh, that we call consumer products. So the first one is the one I'm showing you here, the, the uh, Grow Towers, which have four base configurations and use aquaponic and aeroponic um, technique to grow food. And the second is the one that you've seen me testing on, which is the Grow Box. And those are actually doing pretty well as well. The strawberries continue to sprout and uh, the basil continues to grow and I need to place the cilantro because it doesn't look like it's going to germinate probably bad seeds which they're like a year plus old so that's not a, unexpected <clears throat> but uh, today uh, getting these towers put together this is the first tower the corn tower like I said and getting it here uh, just some quick notes on on design issues one the stainless steel obviously is not our long-term thing that's why I was trying to say if you're brand new we're we're not going to be like trying to manufacture these out of stainless steel. We're doing it now because it's cheaper uh, than doing it out of plastics, which we think will be the long-term solution. When it comes to the towers, because they are tall, especially this one, the separation distance here, uh, there's pluses and minuses to controlling it. If you don't control it, then handling it outside of its configuration like this is very difficult. It'll be wobbly and flimsy. Uh, in addition, it's also difficult to move it and it'd be better if there was a handle set right here in the middle somewhere to allow you to lift it up and set it into place. This would be better for uh, human factors. It would also just be better for um, its structural integrity, though this only holds lights so it doesn't need to be like uber structural. Additional thing, the, um, these are all modules. There's a base module here there's the grow deck and then there's the light holder uh, tall are the three modules that come together to create this tower. And the interface is simply just a male female connector um, that goes in there. Not, not like a connector, it's just a piece of metal that goes down into the hole and that keeps everything there. As far as its uh, strength goes, I'm very happy with no more than half inch protrusion on the male side. Uh, it is really strong, uh, but I, the, you need more tolerance in there uh, so that it's easier to get it in and out. These came together as they should have, but they're really tight. Um, once we get the, we don't need to take these apart. It'd be nice though to be able to, uh, just to demonstrate that. Uh, but for future, we need to increase that tolerance uh, so that it's easier for them to go in and out of each other. Otherwise, I'm liking how it's come together. Um, I've thought more about our uh, sheet metal welding challenge and uh, somebody recommended a T-Rex uh, silicone uh, adhesive uh, that would be perfect for it although it's an Australian product happy to buy it uh, can't find a distributor here in the United States for it so I ended up buying just a uh, DAP uh, aquarium uh, sealant and my approach is going to be to uh, tack weld everything for structural integrity minimize warping that way and then we'll give it a go uh, on the grow decks, which only there's no water really being held there. It's just a place for water to drain out. I think that's going to be like uber perfect, It'd be beyond good enough. Uh, we'll have to play with it with the fish tanks, though, uh, a.k.a. the shrimp tanks. And the shrimp are starting to get big. They're like, like that big. So that's pretty cool. So I got a, I'm going to be building a lot more grow decks now. Uh, I think I've got, what, one, two, three, three small grow decks to do. And the, no, one, two, 
What am I doing wrong? This is a grow deck. That's check. One, two, three. Yeah, I have three smaller grow decks to do because one of these will be two, one will be a single, and then we have the potato tower deck uh, to do, which kind of sounds like more fun. Maybe we'll do that one next. Get the tall guys out of the way. Anyway, cool seeing it come together. Sorry you had to go over a day here for the video, but uh, excited to hear your feedback on these. You guys have to use some imagination now. Obviously, we've still got a long ways to go, uh, but things are coming together. So thanks for following along. Uh, don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. If you really like what we're doing, if you want to support our efforts, you can do so through Patreon. In the meantime, this is Real Martian. Out.